This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. I'm Pastor A.D., Pastor True Vine, NBC, here in Houston, Texas, and I thank you so much for joining us for what I like to call the pastoral moment. This is the time I get to encourage and enlighten with the Word of God, and today I want us to celebrate, 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 celebrate Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I want us to celebrate his birth. It's time. It's that time. It's that time, because Sunday is Christmas, right? I like to call it Christ must. And so it's time to celebrate his birth, which we should do all the time. However, this particular day that we here in the United States, we recognize as Jesus' birth. And I want to celebrate his, his uh, birth and celebrate everything about Jesus. And, and today I want to talk about celebrating Jesus' birth, because that's what it's about, right? It's about celebrating Jesus' birth. It's about him. It's not about the toys and the games and the trees and everything else, you know, that looks so pretty and the jazzy, the lights and everything like that. However, it's about Christ. It's about him. And that's what I want to talk about, Jesus Christ celebrating his birth. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. So, very important scripture. Who is he talking about? Jesus Christ. That's what God is talking about. His darling son, Jesus Christ. His only begotten son, Jesus Christ. That he will impregnate, that, that he will put himself, God will put himself inside of Mary. And she will give birth to Jesus Christ, the second persons of the Godhead. And so she will bear a son. His name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And so this is time to celebrate Emmanuel, celebrate Jesus Christ. Every time you open a gift, every time you come before your family, every time you hand a gift to give a gift or receive a gift, remember Jesus Christ, that he's the greatest gift. He's the greatest gift. And that he was, he came into this world for what? For our sins, for our sins to save us, to save us, and that we may have a second chance to life, that we have eternal life, and that we won't die in sin. So Isaiah 9 and 6, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. And don't we call him those names? And that's Jesus Christ. That's what it's talking about. This is the first gospel, really. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. Who? Jesus Christ. A child is born, a son is given. Jesus, the government, and they were, they were, they were upon his shoulders. And that's who put him on the cross. We put him on the cross because of our sins. Our sins, he bowed his, our sins, the weight of the world was a what? Upon his shoulders. And he died for us and he didn't stay dead. He got up on the third day with all power in heaven and earth. And then we have Matthew 1, Matthew 1 verses 20 and 23. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Won't he do it? Didn't he do it? And he's still doing it today, every day. He's saving someone from their sins, and they're coming to Christ. And so that's, this is the celebration that he was born. Jesus was born. He was given to us. We remember Genesis 3.15. That was, that was prophecy way back then that he would come. And he did within Matthew. He came within the gospels and he died. And then he got, and then he died for our sins, but he got up. And then it says, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord has spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. That is again, which means God is with us. God is with us. So, Emmanuel means God with us, right? So we he's with us every single day, um, the believers in Christ. And those who are still out in the world, 
that he's waiting. He was waiting for some of you to come to him, to still come. to. That's why he hasn't returned, because he's waiting for you to come to him, to give your life over to Christ. And all you got to do is confess with your mouth from your heart, within your heart, and believe, because that's what God searches. He searches the heart, the inner man. And so, hey, you're going to receive Christ as we celebrate him today. Matthew 2, 1 and 2. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now, notice it doesn't say three wise men. It said wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. They saw the sign. They saw the sign from afar. No matter how many it was, they saw the sign from afar, the star, the star of David. And they ran and they ran and they went to this place, went to this place to worship him. And today we should worship him no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, we should stop to worship Christ, praise him, lift up his holy name, give him worship for what he has done for you and what he is going to do in your life. That's Jesus Christ. And that's what we should be worshiping today, praising him this Sunday, praising him, worshiping him this Sunday. So don't ask your church, are they not going to have, are you going to have church Sunday? Yes, we're going to have church Sunday because that's a special day. You don't have church any other day. It should be on Christmas and Resurrection Sunday, okay, Easter. So this is the special day that we come and we praise God and we thank him. This is the celebration. This is his birthday. We celebrate him on this day. Though he wasn't really born on this day, however, we still celebrate him on this particular day. So go to church and celebrate him for a couple hours, a few hours. Just go to worship God. This is his day. Give him praise. It's not your day. You see, a lot of us are worried about what we're going to get under the tree. Get out of that. Stop get, thinking, having in your mind what you're going to get for Christmas. What, what can you give? What can you give? Give to the Lord what is due to him. Acts 20, 35. In all things, I, sh I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus. He, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. There it is right there. How he said, Jesus said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It's, a, it's, it's more of a blessing to do so that God will make you the lender and not the borrower. That it, it feels good to give than to receive. And But a lot of us have it in our hearts that we just want to receive. We're just takers. We want to take and take and take and take. What can we get out of each person? That's not the way to be if you believe in Christ. Get out of that way. Get out of that mindset, okay? This is is the day to celebrate Jesus Christ, celebrate his birth. Amen. Then we have James 1 and 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from what? Above, coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Every good gift comes from him. Every single good gift came from him. And the greatest gift came from him. That's his daughter and son, Jesus Christ, his only begotten son for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting what? Life. So every good gift comes from him, from above. Every good gift comes from above. Then we have 1 John 1 and 15, our last one. And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. Eternal life is only in his son. You will only find eternal life in heaven within his son. Jesus is the only way. He's the only way, the truth and the life. He's the only way to heaven. He's the only way. There's no other way. You can try to go around it. You can try to go through Buddha. You can try to go through um, um, Refucius. You can try to go through all these different lowercase g gods, these idols. However, the only way you can get to heaven, the only way you can receive eternal life, the only way that you can receive this great gift is through believing in Jesus Christ within your heart, having him in your heart, believing, worshiping, walking this thing, talking this thing. Hey, being a doer of his word. This is the only way is believing in Jesus Christ. 
that you can get to heaven. So let's let's praise him. Let's worship him. Let's give him thanks. Let's let's hey. It's time. It's time to give God praise. It's time to give him glory. It's time to give him what he deserves. So let's give him praise. Let's give him his glory. Let's give him worship. Let's magnify his holy name. It's time. This is his day. Let's give him praise, which is every Sunday we should give him praise, but especially on the birth, the celebration, his celebration, to give him accolades, to lift up his holy name on Sunday. Lift up his holy name on Sunday and worship him. It's not about you. It's about Christ. It's not about you. It's about Christ. So remember that. Keep that in mind and then give to others. Give to others on this day. On this, Give to others. Do other nice. Don't just do for yourself. Do for others, please. I love you and I thank you. Thank you so much for joining us for the pastoral moment. I pray that you would encourage that to celebrate Jesus Christ, our Father, our God, the one who died for us, the the precious Lamb of God, the one who got up with all power in heaven and earth. Celebrate Him. I pray that you would celebrate him. Have a blessed Friday. I know it's cold outside. It was very cold. Trust me, I worked last night and it is cold. So keep warm. Keep warm. And may you have a blessed Christmas, a blessed Christmas. God bless you. I'll see you Sunday. Tune in Sunday. We will celebrate Christ here at True Vine together. We love you. We thank you for all your support. Likes up. Comment in the box. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Here at True Vine, we love you and we're praying for you. You want to know why? Because we are the church of love. Merry Christmas. God bless you. So much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church, 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.